Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. On Monday, SpaceX successfully launched their 109th Falcon mission of the year with the launch of KoreaSat 6A. Go Falcon, go KoreaSat. The booster which launched this mission, B-1067, then landed successfully for the 23rd time on the landing pad at Landing Zone 1. This 364th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Also on Monday, SpaceX successfully launched their 110th Falcon mission of the year with the launch of Starlink 669. One ignition, engines full power, and lift up of Starlink 669. Go Falcon, go the booster which launched this mission, B-1080, then landed successfully for the 12th time on the drone ship a shortfall of gravitas. Landing link deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. This week we can hopefully expect to see a bunch more Falcon launches. The next launch, the Starlink 911 mission, is currently scheduled for tomorrow, Thursday 14th at 4.21 a.m. UTC or today, Wednesday 13th at 1121 p.m. EST. Later the same day, and we can hopefully expect to see another Starlink mission launch. The Starlink 668 mission is currently scheduled for tomorrow, Thursday 14th at 10.33 a.m. UTC or 5.33 a.m. EDT. Then later in the week and we can hopefully expect to see a customer mission launch. The Optus X mission is currently scheduled for Sunday 17th at 9.29 p.m. UTC or 4.29 p.m. EST. SpaceX has received an extension on their commercial crew contracts and an article was posted about it. It says NASA has extended free contracts with companies to continue providing transportation of cargo to and from the International Space Station through the projected end of the station's life in 2030. LG and SpaceX have apparently partnered up for batteries on Starship. This article says SpaceX reportedly signed a battery supply agreement with LG Energy Solution or LGES. Local media outlets in South Korea where LGES is located have reported on the agreement between SpaceX and the battery supplier. LGES's contract with SpaceX will reportedly supply batteries for the aerospace company's Starship rocket and its trips to Mars. According to news floating in South Korea's battery industry, LGES signed a contract to supply SpaceX with cylindrical lithium-ion batteries for Starship. I want to share a post from the Ring Watchers about Starship 31's heat shield tile system. They said Ship 31 is launching on Starship 6 flight test with a considerably reduced heat shield stripping back several columns of tiles on the sides of the vehicle. SpaceX posted some pictures of Ship 31 as they rolled it out for Flight 6. They said Starship moved to the pad at Starbase in advance of our 6 flight test. To finish up the video today we'll take a look at the Cameron County website where there are some dates for Flight 6. The closures are for Monday 18th with Tuesday 19th and Wednesday 20th as backups. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.